here lieth unknown man buried um, found floating on the water on the 27th of June 1983 and buried on the 1st day of July 1983 four to five days later That's just a, a paper article. Fresh moves and man's missing brother case. Fresh moves and man's missing brother case. It's me that. No, nobody, nobody ever bothered about no. Mm. You know where a person goes missing, there's, there's a lot of people who would, would, would go out searching for a person. None of these neighbours ever went out looking. Nobody ever looked. And even after he was found, nobody comes to the door and said, sorry, we're in trouble. Uh, my mother died with a broken heart. And my father was seven months behind her. When he was 82 and she was 76. And there wasn't much time between them, seven months. Wrecked the whole family anyway. And it put the brother away from me, the army fella too. Mm -hmm. And uh, his wife and his children never come near the house or nothing. That's a wee poem there. Brother, brother forgotten. Brother, no, what is brother not forgotten? I wanted to pop by today to share with you my prayer of the thing of the thanks I give for the memories that are placed within my care. For now you're safe inside my mind, locked in with a special key, and it takes but the fondest thought, and your face is there to see. When it comes to you, that isn't hard. I think of you so often. And no matter where I am or go, to me you are not forgotten. That's a, I wrote that myself. It's a Shakespeare job. <laughs> I'll take you home again, Kathleen, where the grass is sweet and green. Yeah, he was my best friend up to uh, up to he was sixty, uh, up to he was um, eighteen, and he changed then. He changed. He stopped speaking and all that. Now he used to go down the road, and there was a neighbour or somebody would meet him and say, "Hello, Noel. How you doing, Noel?" And he walked on with it, and he didn't speak. And they said to me, mother or father, "God, I met Noel on the road, and I was spoke." And my father, I got, I got, I went like that. Mm. He just stopped speaking. Mm. Thank God. That's the greatest guitar player that ever was left in America, Chuck Atkins. He, he was an he, he played with all the, the big singers. And there's a traditional puddle player. Uh, that's a cousin of girl from Donegal that's missing for uh, 40 years. Margot's cousin, Mason, Mary, Mary Boyle, that's just Margot, and her young day. The girl from Donegal, 40 years of green cottage by the lee, I'll settle for old Ireland and sleep in the morning. <laughs> well, but how to the top there? Seeing we're looking about the unknown man. Uh, we were afraid of no Midland and the house. We were afraid of the unknown man. In which way? Uh, we, uh, he didn't speak and we didn't speak. And he just didn't speak. So was it fear or like awkward? It was fear of, as you spoke, he might turn on you. Uh, or he'd turn on the furniture or turn on something or he'd turn, pull the television out of the plug and things like that. We lived in fear. I lived in fear. 
Well, they started roaring and shouting in the house first that the dinner was too cold or the dinner was too warm or the tea was cold and he's rearing up my mother. And then when my father would come, my mother would tell my father, not all the time because she wanted to keep roused down. And my father, he would say something to him and he'd rear up my father then. There's, there's a lot of problems with the unknown man. Dear Karen, this letter is to confirm my brother Noel last known address was at the above family home address when he went missing in mid-June of 1983 and was never seen or heard of since. Every day since that dreaded night, my nightmare and that of my late parents had begun. And every day ever since, I carry that pain of not knowing the truth of what happened to Noel. From every morning when I awaken, and he's my first thought and my last thought at night before I sleep. You should say that James McLean. That was a letter on the 18th, uh, on the 1st of the 2nd, 2011. It's private things away in the past. Huh? We used to yell at hazelnuts over over the road. There were no houses at the time over my road. And we used to go to the barn and yell at hazelnuts and yell at blueberries and blackberries. And we used to run up through the hill and we used to play football together over in an old, an old uh, field. There are a house in the field now, but they're known that time. And uh, walk to school and walk back again through the fields. No school bus in my day. Well, no school bus, you see. All the children walked to others in school and back again through the fields. In the summertime, he went down through the snow with a big pile of well Wellingtons. And, uh, and, uh, and, and in the summertime, he had a pair of sandals. Now, great summers then, beautiful warm summer. The tar was melting in the road in the summer. The winter time, there was big deep snow. I just remember the old times, you know. <laughs> so for anybody that has a missing person, you have to go and make an effort to find them, a big effort. I know it's not easy. It's, you mightn't get the result you want, but uh, they're not, my mother used to say nothing beats a trier. You have to make an effort. <laughs> 